Hey, what's up, Granos and Granettes? Juan Granos, back again, this time with another tutorial. So, this is part two of the starting your own radio station tutorial with the Heights Hosting Company. And if you haven't seen part one, I suggest you go check that one out before you get to this part because this part is going to talk more about how to start with your auto DJ and get your auto DJ playing in the air. I'm going to be talking about two software. I'm going to be talking about the uh, NiceCast which is a Mac only software. And then there's another one, which is a freeware, which is called B-U-T-T, but, and they both work pretty well. The one for the Mac, I think is a little more reliable. It works a little better, but you do have to pay for it. It's about $60, I believe. The B-U-T-T is a freeware that you could download and it works on Mac and PC. So I'm gonna be talking about those two softwares right now. And then I'm gonna give you hints of other more advanced um, software that you could use um, to, to obviously to, to do a better quality and, and um, manage your radio station. So, but for now, we're going to be talking about those two. So, here we are in our window, and as you can see, the recent tracks they've been playing all along all this time. You know, the tracks that I put in, they're all royalty-free tracks from I'm um, sorry, from YouTube. So, these are the ones playing in the background, and as you can hear, there it is. There's the track playing. So. Let's get started, and, and I'm going to show you how to use nice, nice cast first. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your quick links. So now here, this is all the information you need to go to the nice cast um, uh, software. This is the information you're going to need to put onto the software. So obviously you have your host name, you have your port name, and you have your bit rate. You don't really have to worry about the bit rate, but everything else is very important, like the cast, tip.com, and the 8014. That's what you need to log in. So why don't we go into um, NiceCast? I already sort of set this up, but I'm going to show you what I did. So I set up a new server, and in this case, I have a microphone that I have plugged in that I'm going to try to go live as i um, speaking so you guys can see how long is the transition. I think it's believe between 30 seconds to 45 seconds before it switches from... Um, uh, the auto DJ to the live, um, you know, voice, me speaking, you know, live. So first thing you would do is you put the casttip.com here and then down here you would put the port number, which is 14 because you have auto DJ running. Again, if you haven't seen my first video, go check that out first. See, see how to get the auto DJ running, right? Now, for as far as the password, you will go into your configuration settings and you will find your password right up here, which is your source password. You just basically copy and paste that. Now, NiceCast does have a little bug that if you paste this password on here and you hit start broadcasting, it's going to say, usually it's going to say there's an error because um, you have to hit tab. So you put in the password, you hit tab, and it goes to the next line, and that's how you know it accepted the password. That's a little bug that's, you know, it kind of, I don't know why they haven't fixed it, but... So you might be putting the right password in and you keep getting an error saying that the password is no good. I mean, I'm going to show you what the error looks like. I'm going to take the wrong password, obviously, but I'm going to do it so you guys can see. Um, so I put in the password. I'm going to copy, paste it, hit tab, and check this out. It'll say invalid password, retry password. That is the wrong password, by the way, but I'm going to show you what happens when I, I'm going to copy the correct password. And this is a nice cast problem, not a Centova cast problem. I'm gonna correct, I'm gonna correct the password. I'm gonna just help go in here, hit paste, and then I'm gonna hit broadcast. And it's gonna say incorrect password. But I did put the correct password, but what I didn't do was I didn't hit tab after the password, and now it should go live. There it is, it's going live on the air. But why don't we do the test as the music is playing in the background so you guys see how long does it take before it switches from um, the auto DJ to uh, obviously me speaking live. So, so this is the music playing from the auto DJ, which if you already set up in the previous tutorial, you know how to do that. So the music is playing and now we're going to go to nice cast and we're just going to hit start broadcast, right? So we're going to see how long does it take before my voice takes over and it starts coming out through the radio station. It's usually between maybe... 30 to 45 seconds before it comes out. Um, I could be wrong. Let's see. Sometimes it does it quicker. Sometimes it does it slower. If there's not a set number, I believe it has to do with your transmitting your internet. Oh, there it is. So it's about, I want to say, 20 seconds. Maybe 30 to 45 seconds before it comes out. Um, I could be wrong. Let's see. Sometimes it does it quicker. Sometimes it does it slower. If there's not a so it's about 30 seconds before it, it, it um it takes over which is not bad but as you can see it's very simple to set up and that's nice cast now nice cast is uh, sixty dollars i believe and i'm gonna leave the link in the description it's for you guys to if you want to use that one you can now i'm gonna show you how to do it with butt so with butt is the same similar idea um it's not as um 
uh, intuitive or complicated. Like I said, um, NiceCast has a lot. I, mean, I didn't show you all the features that it has, but it has a bunch of features. You could actually put an equalizer and add you know, Trevor base and you can fix all that stuff within that little program. But, um, but it's more like a straightforward, um, transmitting from your computer to your server. That's it. You know, if you have a, a, you know, fancy mix board that you just need, you know, basically a cable coming out of that mix board to your computer. Um, and you don't need to do all kinds of fun, you know, fancy stuff to your, to your transmission, then, but might be the, uh, you know, the better, the better solution. So here it is. So, like I said, they do have a Mac and PC. Um, there it is, Mac PC. So I'm gonna do the Mac so you guys can see. Again, and this is free. You just download it. Um, and once it's downloaded, I'm gonna install it and I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So the settings for Butt are very similar to the nice ones. As you see, it's not, a, you know, the, the interface doesn't look as nice, but it doesn't matter. You know, if you just wanna get started and you don't wanna pay $60 for the software, this will do just as good. And again, this worked for Mac and PC, so you know it doesn't matter. It looks just like that on the PC. It's got the same little blue screen and everything. So the first thing we would do is we will, you know, again get the server information, which is over here. We get a server information. I'm just gonna do some copying and pasting. And call it Los Granos Stream. You, obviously, you should always for for this particular server always use Shoutcast server and set report 8014 and for the password again i didn't remember the password but you know you just got to go in here and you copy and paste this so it might be good to just leave that window open there and you can always help show the password and we're just going to hit add on here and that's basically it you know again you have all these other functions usually you should just leave them like that because the way this comes is the be the best way for the station to work you don't have to do this but again you you have options here you know you could uh you know if you have a file name for the songs and all this stuff you know we're not going to get into all that i'm just going to show you how it works and how to go live and in this case i'm going to be using um my microphone again to transmit so let me just set that up here i'm going to use this this is my microphone and it should be playing and there's a little bit still a little bit going there so why don't we just do a plain old test we're going to go in here hit play there's the the music is playing in the background. Let's go into our friend Butt here and let's see how long Butt takes before it takes over. And we hit connecting. Let's see. So here's this a couple the minute the seconds are rolling. Let's see how long it takes. Maybe this is better. It'll tell us how long does it take before the, the actual um, live comes up live. So let's see 15 seconds. And you can still hear the music. So it's about 20 seconds, which is not bad. And this, uh, my voice is in there. I have the microphone really low. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let me see. So there it is. That's me talking, obviously. So it's about 20 seconds before it takes over. So if you want to plan accordingly um, and, and, you know, say to yourself, okay, I want to make sure that the music um, stops at, you know, 10 seconds before I want to go live then you plan accordingly. So that's basically it. I mean, it does not any, get any simpler than that. I just show you guys how to go live on your radio station um, within minutes. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this second part of the tutorial. Um, hopefully the third part, I'm gonna get into a more complicated um, set of um, uh, instructions of how to get your, your um, server working to optimal um, performance. Now. A couple of features that I did not mention in the first video is that when you have a playlist, you could actually set them up to play at a certain time. So let's say you want to have the morning playlist or you're a church, right? You want to have the morning prayer from 12 to 6, I mean, sorry, from, from 6 a.m. to 12 noon on Sundays. You could actually set up every day to have its own playlist of what you wanted to play and when you wanted to play. Um, at what time you wanted to play. So you could have infinite amount of playlists. Now, I do believe that they give you about 10 gigabytes of um, 
space on their server. Now that's the equivalent to about a week and a half of music if you code the music correctly, obviously as MP3s, um, you could fit up to a week and a half which is more than enough so they gave, it's an overkill what they're giving you on their server for you to um, put music on there. So that's all for part two of the tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped you guys get started, get your station up in the air, uh, up in the air, up and up online and um, ready to go live. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this small review. I'm going to try to do another review, a little more in-depth review on how to get the station more optimized, um, running at its, at its you know, best. Um, so uh, there is a code for the Heist hosting and I'm going to leave it in the description if you guys are planning to get the yearly service which includes the apps there's one that is I believe $500 with one app which would be either the Android or the Apple app the OS app or you could get both apps for I believe it's $600 um, for one year which is a steal you know if you go to any of these other um, uh, servers that have um, radio stations that you know that they host your radio station they charge you $50 just to have the station monthly so the only difference here I believe you have to pay annually for the for the uh, pro packages plus so which is not bad if you're planning to do this station you might as well commit yourself to a year doing it and if in a year it doesn't work then you got nothing to lose you tried it you know but from what I can see um, I've been playing for the software for the last six months eight months and it's working really really good i don't have a radio station i probably should start a radio station but i don't have one so um guys i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial please don't forget to subscribe uh leave a thumbs up and share and if you have any questions that i could try to answer for you guys hit me up put it in the description i mean i'm sorry in the comments put it in the comments let me know maybe i could help you guys out get started and that's it thanks for watching guys you've been watching juan granos i am uh You've been watching LG TV. I am Juan Granos. Find me on Instagram, Los Granos. Find me on Facebook, Los Granos. Find me on Facebook, Los Granos. Find me on YouTube, Los Granos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.